think the greatest love is really good friends and people that you can share experiences with for life. My love for Jordan and Zoe is a, you know, a love of friendship that I've never really had before. When I was growing up, I never felt comfortable. I always felt like an outsider. And to meet people who you have, you know, shared interests and passions and loves and ideas is something that I never expected I would have as a teenager. I think that's where we already found each other and became quite close friends very quickly in environments that we'd forged for ourselves. You two met first. Yeah. Yeah, we met in the in the back of that alleyway. I've learned so much from you two because I I never really expressed myself a lot before I kind of came into your friendship group. I feel like the freedom in London is is a different type of freedom. It's so accepting of difference. Growing up in my town, being queer was was quite tough. That's one of the main reasons that I wanted to move to London was just to have a bit more space to be myself. I suppose like going to gay clubs or like um, queer spaces, it's m less about the sexuality involved and more about like the fact that everyone's kind of performing anything that they want to perform. You can be in that space and you can make it whatever you want it to be. And I feel like that freedom doesn't exist in a lot of other spaces. I don't see how your gender or your sexuality can define who you are allowed to love. I think just focusing on love and giving out love, hoping to receive it is all you can really do. Giving out as much love as you can. I do feel very safe with, um, you know, expressing queer love, more so than on the streets. All of a sudden, you just feel a lot more free. It's hard to say if love can conquer all, but the one thing I know is that when I've been really low and when I've needed someone or some some people, I've I've been lucky enough to have my friends, an amazing strong group of friends who do love me and who will support me and I would do anything for them. Je m'appelle Angèle, j'ai 17 ans. Je m'appelle Lucas, j'ai 21 ans. Il a l'air froid le monde quand même. 